Good evening, parents and faculty and staff. I want to welcome you to our convocation. You might wonder what a convocation is, but it is the time of year when we dedicate our year to the Lord and ask for his blessing on all that we do and all that we say here at Pioneer Valley Christian Academy. I want you to know that at the end of my remarks, we will have three students and a pastor who is a parent, Pastor Osorio, who will come and dedicate our year in prayer to the Lord. And so I hope that you will be a part of the whole evening. I'm not sure what brought you to PVCA, but I'm very glad that you are here. You might be asking, well, what is Christian education? In our name, Pioneer Valley Christian Academy, Christian, the word Christian is very pronounced. And so I thought this evening as I was reflecting on our school year that I might just reiterate again what it means to be a Christian school. You see, education is not done in a vacuum. There is always a purpose in education, whether it's in a Christian school or whether it's in a secular school, a public school. Education is always done from a point of view or a starting point. And I want you to know that everybody's starting point is one that is accepted by faith. We believe certain things to be true and then we live our lives based on those facts or on those beliefs. In our school, we want you to know that we start with God. And so the word Christian is important in our name. I want you to know that as a Christian school, that we believe that truth is embodied in the person of Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he said that his word, the Bible, was true. So for this school, that is our starting point. We, as a school, have invited God into the learning process. So let me just explain five points that are very crucial to your understanding of why a Christian school. The first thing that we want you to know, and it's in all of our documents, it's in our statement of faith, is we do believe that God exists. We are not here on this earth by some accident of nature. We believe that the God who exists is a sovereign God. He rules over his universe, but he is also personal because he has come to us in the person of Jesus Christ. So we start with God and he has made himself known to us. He's made himself known by the created world. He's made himself known by his son, Jesus Christ. And he's made himself known through the Bible, which he revealed to us. Secondly, he has, as I said, he made himself known through creation. So this is God's world that we're studying. Whether you're a Christian or whether you're not, we all agree on the facts. That's not where the disagreement is. The disagreement is in the interpretation of the facts. So in a Christian school, we start with God. We believe that because he created the world, he has the right to interpret it for us. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. So we start with God existing. He made the heavens and the earth. He created the world. And in this created world, he made people, human beings. He created them as a special being. They were created, as it says in the Bible, in the image of God. They're image bearers. And their purpose is uh, ultimately is to reveal to others who God is. What a wonderful privilege to be able to understand in this culture that God made us in his image. And in Genesis 1, it says that he created us male and female. There truly are only two genders, male and female. And so we are here as special creations of God. All of us are from one race. And we gather here every day in our classrooms to celebrate the fact that God made us. We're all unique. We all have individuality. 
but we are all made in his image and that gives us our worth. And thirdly, we believe as a Christian school that there is such a thing as truth. And that truth is outside of ourselves as individuals. We know that truth is that which corresponds with reality or that which corresponds with the original. The original was God. He was the first. He's the only being that's always existed. And so truth should always respond and be in concert with who this God is. The Bible says that all truth is God's truth. It says, as our school verse says, in Christ are hidden all the wisdom of truth. And so when we think about the Bible, Jesus said that the Bible is truth. My word is truth. Therefore, when we come to the Christian school, we believe that there is real truth. It's not truth that I make up of my own. There aren't many, many different truths in the world. There's only one truth that is from God, revealed to us in the scripture. And so when we study the world that he made, we want to interpret that world, looking at scripture as our foundation. That he made the world, he should have the right to interpret it. And then we believe, of course, that there are morals, that God has given us his word, and in that word we find morality, what is right and what is wrong. And so it's important when our students are learning that they understand that some things are right, some things are wrong, not because as a school we said it, but because the scriptures teach it. It's outside of ourselves. Everyone doesn't get an opportunity to make up their own morality. God is, lastly, the God who answers the big questions of life. We all face them. Where did we come from? Why are we here? What is our purpose in life? Where are we going? Obviously, those questions can only be answered by the one who created us. And so as our students come here to school, those are the questions that we will sometimes wrestle with in the classroom and help students to understand what God's design was for them as an individual student. So these five principles will be the basis for why the Christian school. It's not just because it might be a safe place. It, might not, it isn't just because there might be a better order, there might be better discipline, there might be better education. Those are all good things, but we are Pioneer Valley Christian Academy and so I want you to understand as you begin the year that your students will be exposed to that kind of truth every day hopefully you have read our statement of faith it comes from the scripture it's not something I made up it's not something the board made up and we want our students every day in the classroom to discover who God is through his word through the creation that we will be studying and that is a wonderful opportunity for our children god has integrated the world with himself and you and i when we come to the classroom we are going to discover who that god is and how wonderful he is and that he has made us he sustains us he is in charge of things in the world because he made it and ultimately, he came as a savior for us because we all need a savior. We are all lost without him. And Jesus came to save us from our sins. So this year, as we begin a year which in very troubled times, let's ask God to help us. Let us partner together as parents and as teachers in this great cause of Christian education. I hope you will pray for your teachers on a regular basis. They pray for you and that your children, first of all, will come to know the Lord. He is awesome. He is the savior and he is the creator. And so as we go through the year, I hope you keep those thoughts in mind and at your home, around your own kitchen table, when you eat together or when you fellowship together as a family, that you will encourage your children in the same things that they are learning here at school. So we'll partner together in that quest 
and I know that God will bless and honor us as we travel that road together. So tonight, again, we're going to have one parent and three students lead us in prayer and dedicate our school year to the Lord. So thank you for joining us. God bless you. Dear Lord, I would like to pray for the families of PVCA, for the new families, for the provision to allow them to be here, and for families that are returning to allow them to be back again. I would like to pray for your blessing and support for these families throughout the year. I pray for protection over everyone who is attending the school, and I pray that they can just, you know, get out of the school what they're looking for and knowledge of you and, you know, community and family in the school. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you, Lord, and we come before you because you have given us another year at PVCA. We thank you for the staff and the administration team and what they do to help children and students like me learn at this school. We pray that they will be blessed and that they will have a lot of your grace, Lord, and they will be able to go through this all year strong and they won't be tired or stressed or anything, Lord. We pray that um, for your provision over them, Lord, and we pray that they will have renewed inspiration. And Lord, whatever they need, Lord, that you will um, give it to them. We thank you that we have amazing teachers, and we ask all of this in your name. Amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. I pray that you will bless the students at PVCA and that the students here will continue to grow in your in the faith. And I pray for health and protection for all of the students. In your name, amen. Good evening, this is Pastor Arl from Crossover Church, and it's an honor to have the opportunity to pray with you and for you for our school, Pioneer Valley Christian Academy. I'm gonna ask right where you're watching if you can please bow your heads so we can pray together for our school. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we have the opportunity to live in a country that allows us to choose the education that we want for our children. And we thank you for the honor and the privilege that we have, Lord, to bring our children to this school, to Pioneer Valley Christian Academy. We know, Lord, that there are a myriad of options, Lord, but we have chosen intentionally, Lord, to bring our children here because we understand the importance of a solid Christian education. And because of that, we take this time right now to present, Lord, every single person that is involved in the schooling, Lord, and the education of our children. We present the teachers, we present the staff, we present every parent, Lord, and most importantly, we present our children and our young people. We pray, Lord, in the, that in the midst of all that is going on in the world, Lord, we may be, Lord, a light in the darkness and the salt of the earth, Lord, that our children will grow, Lord, and know your principles of the kingdom of God, Lord, that we will be able, Lord, to see our children thrive and flourish, Lord, in the midst of chaos, Lord, and that other people will be able to see, Lord, how you have been able to be with us, Lord, protecting us, Lord, covering us, during this time that we're living in. We pray these things, Lord, and we ask, Lord, for your guidance, Lord, and your wisdom, Lord, and every person involved in the education of our children. We're trusting in you, Lord, that this will be, Lord, a great, wonderful, and powerful year for our school. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen. 